Hi, so I want to explain three reasons why you should be doing the Wim Hof method right now, specifically with the coronavirus, right? These are crazy times. We're all getting lots of information about what we should be doing, what we shouldn't be doing. Um, but very little of it actually has any kind of scientific base. And the Wim Hof method uh, does have a scientific base. It's been studied a number of times in a number of different ways. It's simple, it's safe, it's effective, it's fun. And really, you know, you've got tons of time on your hands right now. Why not do it? So I want to talk about three different aspects of the Wim Hof method. Right? Uh, I assume you know it has to do with uh, breathing, cold water exposure. You know, there's a whole... there's dozens of videos out there, hundreds of videos out there that uh, give you lots of information on about what the method is and how to do it. All right, I just want to talk about three specific aspects. One is the psychological aspect. We'll start with that. Stress is a, a major determining factor in how well our immune system functions, right? And right now, there's obviously nothing that conventional medicine can do to help us with the coronavirus. Uh, the only thing we have is our immune system. And if we're stressed out, which is a very easy thing to, to be right now, then our immune systems are not functioning that, the way that they should. There's plenty of studies showing this. I'm putting links below with uh, all the studies supporting all of these, these claims that I'm throwing out here. Uh, take a look if you want. But, but basically, the, the point is, in challenging times, it's, it's very difficult to will yourself to be calmer, right? There's, it's kind of a, a catch-22, right? If I tell you, you know, calm down or die, right? obviously, that's, that's not really going to help you to calm down. But the Wim Hof method uh, actually sort of, by, by changing the way your, your brain functions, right? it changes the hormones that are active and that are being produced by your body and that are flowing through your brain, it, it creates a, a state sort of forces you into a state that's very similar to as if you had been meditating in deep meditation for four hours, right? We're talking about that level of peace, that level of calm, that level of tranquility, right? And this is a very difficult thing to, to achieve willfully, but just through breathing exercise and through the cold water exposure, we're, we're changing the, the ecosystem in our brain, really, and we're making it basically impossible to, to not be calm. Right, so a good example is, is with the cold, right? The, when, when we get into the cold water, uh, we, we produce a lot of noradrenaline in, in our brains, right? So noradrenaline in our bodies makes us very active. It's the you know, fight or flight type of thing. Um, but in our brains, it makes us centered, it makes us focused, and it's, uh, it, it brings us this sense of, of calm, of well-being, of peace. And something that, I mean, anyone who's, who's taken a really cold shower or done the, the ice bath will know. I mean, when you're in it, it's difficult, but as soon as you get out, you're just flooded with this, this really like, profound sense of euphoria. And it's, uh, you know, it's real. It's, uh, it's a really valuable part of the method. And if that were the only thing the method did, that I think would, would make it worth it. But but also does two other things that are, are really important. Um, to understand this, we need to talk a little bit about the, the coronavirus and, and how it affects us, right? So for most of us, it's not going to affect us. Even if we get infected, uh, we aren't even going to notice, right? For some people, it does produce symptoms like uh, like a flu, you know, fever, a cough, that type of thing. And for some people, of course, it is it is lethal. In the cases where it's lethal, it's not the virus itself that, that kills us. It's actually the, the overreaction of the immune system, right? If the immune system can't deal with the virus on, on normal terms, and it starts going into to sort of shock, right? The, the inflammatory response starts going to, to fever. And, and in some cases, what happens is it actually starts attacking itself. The body loses the ability to differentiate between the virus and between actual human cells. And so if the, the virus is in our lungs, for example, it starts attacking the lungs as well as attacking the virus. And that's when it gets lethal. The lungs stop functioning, our organs don't have enough oxygen to, to, to function, and basically our whole system shuts down very quickly and we die. Right, so, so that indicates sort of two things here. One is we want to have our immune system as strong as possible, but two is we want to have it as well balanced as possible. Right? And the Wim Hof method helps us with both of those things. So both cold exposure and the, the breathing exercises have been shown to increase our white blood counts, our, our white blood cell counts. Right? And obviously that's our, our first defense against any, any kind of uh, invader that might want to come in. Right? And so if our immune system is functioning well, the chances are we aren't going to be affected by this virus. If we are, then you know we'll have the, the resources necessary to, to fight against it. There will be no reason for our body to go into that state of shock. And we can see this by, by looking at the, the way our metabolism is affected. Right? When we talk about metabolism, oftentimes we think about weight loss and things like that. But, but in, in kind of simpler terms, what the metabolism is, is it's a measure of, of how active our system is, right? how much blood is flowing through our body, how much oxygen is available to our cells, how much energy our cells can have to fight against uh, an invader, for example. 
right? And so, so when you get into the cold water, your metabolism is going to jump up about 300, 350%. Right? As soon as you get out, it's going to go back down. But if you do that again in a day or another two days, then your base level of metabolism is going to be higher. Your blood is going to be flowing more, more oxygen will be available to all of your cells. Your body's going to be functioning better on, on pretty much every level, right? And so that, that means well, when, when we do get sick, your body's going to have the, the energy and the resources it needs to, to fight against uh, any, any kind of virus or any kind of bacteria. So there's a really important study here, the Radbud study, which was done in, in Holland with Wim Hof and another 12 people who had studied his method for only four days, right? Only four days doing this method, cold exposure and breathing. And what they showed is that they, when they were injected with a endotoxin, which is a dead virus, they were able to completely suppress all of the negative uh, effects of the immune system when it goes haywire, right? They didn't get fever, they didn't get headaches, basically nothing happened. Their body dealt with the virus the way it should and no adverse reactions. Thousands of people before them who hadn't done the method all got fever, all got headaches, all had very severe reactions for a short time because it was actually a dead virus, but, but very severe reactions. And what, what Wim Hof showed for the first time in, in, in really in the history of medicine is that we are able to influence the way our immune system functions. We can have conscious control over our immune system. And this is exactly what we, re we need right now. So just to, to recap, it helps you calm down, ward off stress, it helps your immune system to be stronger, and it helps your immune system to be better balanced, right? With those three things, I think that's more than enough reason to start practicing the Wim Hof Method. I assume you've got plenty of time on your hands right now. I assume you have a shower where you can take a cold shower, do a bit of breathing exercises. You know, there are dozens of videos out there teaching you how to do the method. Uh, it's readily available pretty much, you know, anywhere on YouTube. Um, I don't know. I say now's a good time to give it a try. If you have any comments, questions, whatever, please leave them below. I'd be happy to respond. If you think this video is worthwhile, then you know, pass it along, share it, like it, whatever. And uh, yeah, hopefully this can be the beginning of a conversation of you know how can we be a little bit calmer, happier, healthier, and just you know survive these these crazy times that we're all living in. So yeah, good luck.